have your props ready. And when you are ready, you can move right onto your chair. I hope everybody's had a good morning so far. I'm just having all your props with you that you may need for your practice. And we will start seated for first half of, of practice and then we'll move on to some standing poses as well and some stretches there. Right. And just taking your time, arrive into your space, roll those shoulders back, feel your shoulders right over the hips there and then start to feel your sit bones ground towards the chair. Feel your feet down towards the mat or the floor. Start to tap into your core as you draw the belly button in towards the spine. If you're just joining us right now, um, take your time. Come on to a seated position that feels comfortable for you. And we're just gonna move right into our breath. We're gonna spend a good ten, uh, 15, 30 seconds just breathing on your own and just feeling out your breath right now and just taking the time, taking a little bit of time here just to notice your breath. If you've had a little bit of a busy morning already, let's breathe. Soften your gaze to the tip of your nose, to the front of the room, or close your eyes completely if that's more comfortable for you. Roll your shoulders back a little bit more. Relax them down, let them fall all the way down to the low back. So just on your own, nothing controlled, just soft breath in, soft breath out, soften into your toes. Soften into your fingers. Maybe even allowing a sigh out, out through the mouth. Finding that little bit of release if you need that this morning. I'm trying your very best to inhale in through the nose as opposed to inhaling in your mouth. But on your exhale, you can pick what feels more comfortable for you. Exhale out through the nose or out through the mouth. I find that um, in for yoga to inhale in through the nose, it allows a deeper breath in than the mouth, and it's also better for your jaw. And as you start to find that flow, that rhythm in your breath, start to find a little deepness in your breath, a little more depth into your breath. Start to stretch out your inhale a little bit further and then exhale release even more allow every ounce of your breath to let go now as you start to find this rhythm the strong breath in and that strong breath out and that's where we're starting to tune into what we call in yoga ujjayi breath strong breath in Strong breath out. Breathe in deep. Exhale all the way out. I'm starting to feel and cultivate a little heat into the body, into the muscles, the joints, the ligaments, tendons, sending breath to those parts of the body. in through the nose and we're going to do a few more just like that that rhythm there and it's going to be a little different for everybody so we're just going to take our time breathe and feel that lift in the upper body expansion across the chest the collarbones as the sternum um, starts to draw forward exhale all the way out good breathe in one more time in through the nose Exhale all the way out. And allow this breath 
to guide you through your practice today. So when, as we're moving through our poses, our exercises, our stretches, feel this breath here, the strong breath in, strong breath out. Good, if you had your eyes closed, start to open your eyes, come back into your space, a little wiggle into your fingers, roll the shoulders back a little bit more. And we're gonna take some movement right into the arms straight away. We're gonna take those arms all the way up, sweep them up nice and high. Maybe the palms press, maybe they don't, doesn't matter. Exhale all the way down, inhale, lift up. Exhale all the way out and just continue this movement. Just Bring the arms up and down, feeling the stretch into the sides of the body, that lift out of the hips. And you might even start to bring your gaze up towards the sky. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. And just notice how this movement feels in your body, especially if you this is the first um, movements of your day. Breathe and breath out. Keep going. Find that flow in your movement along with your breath. In through the nose. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. One more time. And then on your exhale, release. Roll the shoulders back. Take a little, I'll uh, take a second here right back to your breath. And we're gonna bring our arms all the way up, right back up to the sky. And we're gonna move through two sun salutations, your pace, your breath. Let's go, let's bring our arms all the way up. Maybe a gaze up. Exhale, dive forward over your legs. Good job, everybody. Release your head. Good, inhale, lift halfway, press into the shin bones, gaze towards the ground, long into the spine. Belly button pulls in gently towards the spine. Good, exhale, come all the way back down, fold over your legs, let your belly relax towards your thigh bones, and then start to press into your feet, tuck the chin in, rise all the way back up, seated, and then take those arms right back up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, breathe in. Exhale, relax, shoulders back, good job. Let's try that one more time. When you're ready, take that big breath in, Reach those arms up nice and high. Exhale, dive forward over your legs. Relax the head. Inhale, lift halfway. Find the length into your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Roll right back down. Press into your feet. Rise all the way back up. Sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now keep your hands there. Prayer hands right at the heart, right at the sternum. Pressing the palms together, the fingers together, the thumbs together. Relax your shoulders. Elbows relax as well. Feeling your feet press down towards the ground. Little humbling of the chin towards the chest. Good. You might stay here. Starting to feel that little bit of um, stretch into the wrist. If you like a little deeper stretch, and please be mindful here. You don't ever have to go further than this. But if it feels okay for you, start to press the palms in a little deeper as you bring the hands down. The bottoms of the hands start to come to maybe the middle part of your chest, a little further down to um, the belly, closer to the belly. We're noticing the fingers touching a little bit more, the thumbs. The wrist creases, a little bit of stretch into the forearms. Relax your shoulders. Sit up nice and tall. Notice your spine here. Notice the space in your low back. Good. Two more breaths here, wherever you've taken it. And it can be just like how your position was at the very beginning. And that's great too. Um, as long as you're feeling and enjoying and being comfortable in that stretch here, in the wrists, in the fingers, in the hands, the forearms. One more breath in through the nose. Maybe starting to feel the bottoms of your hands peel apart. Exhale your breath out, slowly release your hands away from each other and shake them out, wiggle at your fingers, give them a little close 
and squeeze movement, a little circling to the wrist maybe. Very good. And then relax, arms back down, shoulders, roll them back, breathe in, and breath out. Good job, everybody. Let's get right into, back into the arms. We're gonna take our right arm up towards the sky. Good. And just a little stretch into the side of the body and then bring it back down. Good. Left arm does the same thing, up into the air and exhale right back down. Good. And keep going. Stretch up with one arm, exhale down. Other arm stretches up and down. Breathe in. Breath out in through the nose. Exhale, good. Now you can continue this movement just like so. Just the way it is with one arm up and one arm down. The hands are nice and soft. If you like a little more intensity um, into the exercise, we're going to bring our arm all the way up. Pretend or visualize that you're grabbing for that object right at the top and then pull it all the way back down. So a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more intensity to the stretch. So you can decide, maybe keep it soft, if that's where you're at today. Bring a little intensity into your practice as you pull that object down. Be intentional with it. And through the nose. Exhale. Breathe in. Breath out. Good. Keep going. Full breath in. Full breath out. Nice job. Okay. Now you can keep exactly what you're doing here. Passive into the arms as you reach up. Maybe intense into the arms as you pull something down. Or another option here, you can bring both arms up and bring them both down. Lift up and down. So you have a lot of choices to work with. Choose the option that works for you. And you can always go backwards here too and go back to just one arm up and one arm down. Always listening to your body. I can't stress that enough knowing that this is your practice this morning. So moving at your pace with your breath, modifying the exercise or poses we get into to fit your body and not the other way around. Breathe in, feel that breath, back into that strong breath in, strong breath out. Belly button in towards the spine. Find that lift out of the hips, base into a low back. Sometimes once we um, get into an exercise, we tend to start um, sitting um, and hunching our shoulders because we're starting to feel a little relaxed into the exercise. See if you can find that lift again. Notice that, those things that do happen in your body. Good job, everybody. Now, keeping with this, taking breaks if you need to, or I'm going to start to add a little bit more to this and come back and join us, um, join me whenever you're ready if you do take a break. Good, so we're gonna bring our arms up and then we're gonna bring our arms out and back in. Up and down, out and back in, good. Now again, you can go back to one arm at a time and you can easily do that with this movement as well. Just take your time, one arm up, one arm out. And then the other side. Feel your breath. This is a lot into your arms, but it's so good for our arms. Breathe in, breath out. And through the nose, exhale. Good job, everybody. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I promise this is the last little bit here if you'd like to join me. So we're gonna bring our arms up, back down, out to the sides, back in, and then they're gonna go down and then pick the arms back up and then back up to the sky they go. Out and back in, 
down and then pick it back up, up, down, out, back in, bring the arms down, pick it back up, up and down, out and back in and then down, pick your arms back up and then back up. Good job. Now feel your breath. Once you get the rhythm in your exercise here, keep the breath moving. Make sure you're coming back to that breath. That strong breath in, strong breath out. Slow down your movements too. It's not a race. Don't worry. You're a practice here. Breathe in breath out and you are welcome to bring your arms down rest whenever you need remember that in through the nose exhale good we're gonna find a few more times if you're okay with it breathe good two more right here and through the nose last round and then start to bring your arms, relax them down once you're done. Shoulders, give them a little roll up and down. And let's move right into our shoulders here. We're going to bring our shoulders all the way up towards the sky or towards the earlobes. And then roll them all the way down. Good. Take some time into circling your shoulders up. Bring the shoulders, squeeze them up to the earlobes and then roll them down. Breathe. Take your time here. It feels really nice to get right into the shoulders. Good. Now, if you're rolled, rolling them back, try the other opposite way. Roll them forward or vice versa. In through the nose. Exhale. Good. Two more times. Good. And then start to bring your shoulders back up. Roll them back. Open the chest across the collarbones there. And let's keep with that movement into the shoulders. But we're going to bring a, the arms along with it. We're going to take the arms and we're going to stretch it right up in front of us. Fingertips to the front of the room. Maybe a little higher if you're feeling okay with it. And then sweep them back behind you. Good. A little, your range of movement here in your shoulders. So take those uh, fingertips all the way back up or a little higher and then sweep them back. Breathe in. Breath out. Watch the arms of your chair if you do have them there. Good. Extend them back behind you. Feel that little stretch right behind you. And then maybe starting to feel a little tilt into the body, the hips as you reach them back. This can be small movements. They don't have to go that far forward or far back. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breath out. Engage your core belly button in towards the spine, especially when you're tilting. Just feel that in your low belly there. You might start to find a little more depth for some of you as you bring those arms maybe a little higher, maybe a little further back. Inhale. Exhale two more times here. Great job, everybody. Feel your breath. Good. Last one right here maybe for you. And then when you're done, release. Give yourself a second here. Roll the shoulders back. Give them a little movement if you need to. But we're going to come back into that same movement with a little bit of a twist. Let's bring our arms right back to center when you're ready. 
And then take that right arm back behind you. Keep that left arm stretching forward, maybe a little higher, you decide. Now you can keep the gaze forward, maybe a little gaze over to the right as you find that little bit of a twist in your torso. Opening that right shoulder back just a little bit more. Breathe, fire up those fingertips to that back wall, the right fingertips, and then fire the left fingertips. Drive that arm forward. Nice work. Now let's come back to center. Right arm back to center. Let's try the other side. Left arm sweeps back behind you. Fingertips reach back. Fingertips reach forward. Maybe a little twist. Maybe a gaze over to the left side of the room. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath here in through the nose. Tap into your core, belly button in towards the spine. Exhale, slowly release. Come all the way back to center. Release your arms, shoulders back. Breathe in. And breath out. Nice work, everybody. Let's go back up to the head and the neck there and give it a little stretch because everything's interconnected in our body and we've done a lot into shoulders. Maybe a little bit into neck just to stretch it out. We're going to start to tilt our head over to the left, left ear towards that left shoulder and then start to open up the right part of the neck here. Stretch it out. Maybe with each exhale, feeling a little more depth, feeling a little more deepness as you release down towards that shoulder. Good, you might just stay here. This might feel great and just wonderful to stay in this position. You can do that. Option to take that left arm up and over, place the hand on the crown of the head or the side of the head, and then maybe starting to reach that right arm out to the side of the room, fingertips out. Now, if that doesn't feel good, you can always relax the arm down towards the side of your chair or drape it over the arm of the chair if you have that there. Good, breathe. A little bit of a gentle pressure into the left palm as you relax it down to the side of the head or the crown of the head. Good, and reach those fingertips up out a little bit more. Maybe even lift the right arm up a little bit more if you are okay with that. Breathe. Sit up a little taller, lift out of your hips, lengthen through the spine. Good, one more breath here. And on your exhale or at the bottom of the exhale there, come all the way back to center. Notice how that feels. And let's even things up because you feel this nice stretch on that right side of the neck. Let's go over to the right now and open up the left side. Stay here. Pause. Don't even do anything with the arms just yet. Relax the right ear towards that right shoulder. Open up the space here. Relax that left shoulder down a little bit more. Breathe. Feel the belly button draw in gently towards the spine. Let's start to feel this lift. Good. You might just stay here and that's great. Maybe you take that right arm up and over, place it gently on the side of the head. You might take that left arm out or drape it onto the side of your chair. Breathe. You might lift that left arm up just a tad. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, maybe finding a little more, a little more stretch into that side of the neck. Breathe, soften your gaze, take in the sensation you may be feeling. In through the nose. Exhale all the way out, release, come all the way back to center, give your shoulders maybe a shrug up and down. And let's give the front and back side of our neck a little bit of a stretch too. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and just open up the back side of the neck. Good. Inhale to rise up and then maybe a gentle tilt back or a big tilt back, maintaining that little bit of control so you don't want to snap your head back. Good, and come all the way back down. Keep this movement going a few times here.
It's always nice to even things out all around the neck. Right, let's find one more round here as we breathe. One more breath in. And then exhale. Maybe a tilt back or right back to chin in towards the chest. Start to bring your head back to center. We're going to continue that movement there, that tilting of the head um, in and back out um, with our cat cow. So we're going to bring our hands right on top of our legs. This pose is such a good pose to open up that space in the back and front part of the neck uh, with, alongside your chest and the back body. We're going to take it right into your cow pose first. Start to slide the hands towards your body as you roll the shoulders back, open and lift the chest, turn them up. Belly button towards the front of the room. Start to feel that nice space, that little bit of a swoop or a cave in of the back body. Exhale, we're gonna round the spine, belly button draws back in, tucking the chin in towards the chest, round the spine. Good, this is your cat pose here. Inhale to rise all the way back up into your cow pose. Shoulders back, sternum forward, chest lifts, heart opens, belly button forward. Exhale, we're gonna tuck that chin right back in, round the spine, release. Breathe and let's do five rounds. Your pace, your breath. Exhale. In through the nose. Exhale all the way out. Breathe. Move with your breath. Link the cat and cow pose with your breath. Glide up and down along the spine. Feel each vertebrae move up and down from the crown of the head all the way down to the tailbone. As you feel the um, tailbone, untuck and tuck back in. Feel the pelvis tilt forward and back. So lots of um, movement here within the body parts in just along the, the midsection of the body. In through the nose. Exhale. One more time. Full breath in. Full breath out. Nice work. And let's start to make our way back to shoulders over the hips, that nice long spine, lifting out of our hips, sitting up nice and tall, right onto both sit bones. Let's give our arms, shoulders, body a little bit of a break there as we work right into the hands, into the wrists, a little bit into the forearms. We're just going to open and close our palms, stretch of the fingertips. Breathe. In through the nose. Just give your hands a nice stretch. Good. Now, whether you like to have your hands out or fingers in in a fist, circle out your wrist here one way and then the other. Good. And then maybe a little tilt of the wrist or the, yeah, the wrist <laughs> forward and back. Feeling a little bit of a stretch into the forearms here as you pull your um, hands in. Breathe in. And breath out. Good. Now let's open up our palms up towards the sky. Fingers out, stretched out. Good. Let's just close. Let's isolate the movement and just close up the fingers. Just the fingers. Leave the thumbs out. And then open up the fingers back to um, 
hands out. And then bring the fingers back in and then open your hands back out. Good, just fingers. So thumbs, keep them out to the side. Good, so just bring those fingers in and back out. Breathe in. Breath out, keep it going, just the fingers. Curl in and back out. Good. A few more times. Nice work. Now let's bring the fingers back out. Close up just the thumbs and find that movement there. Isolate the movement just into your thumbs. Focus on that. So the thumbs come in and come back out. In and out. In and down. Just movement into that joint in the thumb with the fingers pointing, pointing back out. Very good. Notice maybe a little stretch. And we're just doing this the best to our ability. If there's some stubborn fingers there, that's okay. Just how it feels in your body today, um, the best that you can. Great job, everybody. Now we're going to do a little brain work here. A little um, a little bit into the fingers and thumbs now. We're gonna take turns with it. So we're gonna take those fingers in, just the fingers, leave the thumbs out, and then take them back out, stretch them back out, and the thumbs come in. And back out, fingers in, fingers out, thumbs in, thumbs out. Fingers, and then thumb fingers, and then thumbs. Keep going. Fingers and thumbs, fingers and thumbs. Good, connect back with your breath. Feel that flow in your inhale and exhale. Breathe in and don't worry if you mess up, it's okay. Don't overthink it. Relax your shoulders, feel your breath. In through the nose. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Couple more breaths. Nice work, everybody. Start to relax your arms. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. Let's interlace our fingers. Turn the palms out towards the front of the room. Relax the shoulders. And then start to bring your arms up as high as you can. Maybe in front of you, maybe above your head. You decide. And then exhale, bring it all the way back down. Good. Inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale, come all the way back down. Good, breathe in. Breath out. In through the nose. Exhale. Keep going with your breath to as high as you like today and to as low as you like. Find that. Belly button in towards the spine. Find that space into the low back. Breathe. Good. Now let's take our arms all the way back up as high as you can. We're just going to take a little side bend to the right. Notice that. And we're not going to go very far, especially with our hands interlaced up um, above our head. And then take it over to the left. So we're just going to find a nice gentle stretch. Back over to the right. And then over to the left. Great job, everybody. Keep going. A couple more times here. 
One more time on each side. Good, and then bring it back to center and just a little turn over, a little twist over to the right. And then a twist over to the left and then relax your arms, come back to center, roll the shoulders back. And then let's take a nice wide leg forward fold. We're gonna walk our feet out, maybe hip distance, maybe, maybe a little wider. And let's fold over our legs, relax the upper body for a bit there. Hands onto the hips, take a nice long breath in, big breath in, shoulders back, long into the spine, exhale, hinge and fold. You might start to bring your arms down on the legs. You might like to bring your hands all the way down to the ground, two blocks if you like to, or if you have another chair too, you can bring the hands onto the chair. Relax your shoulders, let them go, release into the back part of your neck, let your head get a little heavier. Breathe. Gonna take two more breaths here. Nice work, everybody. Let's start to press into your feet, tuck your chin in, press, and then start to rise all the way back up, shoulders back over the hips, head back between the shoulders. And let's work on a little bit into our hips, into our core as well. Keeping your legs exactly where they are, nice little wide, um, wide legged, and um, opening up the hips just a bit. We're going to bring maybe hands staying, staying on the hips, maybe arms out side to side. You decide what feels good for you. If you take the arms out, make sure that you're feeling okay. And you can always bring your hands back on your hips at any time. Press into your feet. Engage your core a little bit more. Find that lift, lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna hinge forward. Good, we're not going very far here. And then right back up. Great job, we're gonna do five more just like that. Press into your feet, strong into the core there, belly button in towards the spine, hands out, hands to the hips, and let's start to tilt our body. Good, on your next inhale, rise back up. Let's find four more. Exhale. Inhale back up. Good. Last three. In through the nose. Breathe in. Breath out and start to rise back up. Two more. Strong into the core. Nice flat back coming down. And then rise back up when you're ready. Great job. Last one, everyone. Take that breath in. Exhale. Feel the stretch into the insides of your legs. And then slowly rise back up on that inhale. Shoulders back over the hips. Breathe in. Breath out. Good. If you have your hands on the hips, keep them there. Maybe you bring them out to um, arms outside to side. And we're just going to bring a little to us. If you have your arms outside to side, we're just going to tap to the inside of that, um, the opposite leg. Good. And a little twist here. And then over to the other side. If you have your hands on the hips, you can just turn like so. Good. So whichever one, a little bit of a twist, a little bit of movement, maybe into the arms. In through the nose. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. One more time on each side. And when you are done, relax. Come back to center. Shoulders over the hips. Walk the feet back in towards each other. And let's come up to standing for a little bit of um, work on our legs there, a little blood flow back into our legs, a little movement into our legs. And just make sure that you have um, your chair with you, move it to a place that you know is gonna be there, you will find it, it's there for your support because you don't always have to use it if you don't need it. Um, decide on how you feel today. Make sure you find some nice space between your feet and let's just right away, just start to walk. 
lift the knees up as high as you like. Flex the toes, get right into your quadricep muscles, hands on the hips maybe, if you don't need the chair at the moment. Breathe. Lift, maybe starting to get the, the knees out, up a little higher, engage your core. And through the nose. Exhale. So we're just finding a little movement here. A little fluid back into the legs, into the knees, the joint. Good. And let's start to bring your feet back to center. Let's move it right into our warrior one. We're going to press into that left foot, step our right foot back behind us. Turn the right toes out just slightly and then start to lunge into that left knee. Hands can stay on the hips. Hands can always come onto the chair. Press into that left heel. Lunge a little further into that left leg. Right up to the hip flexor. Find that nice length into the spine. Belly button in towards the spine. Good. You can stay here. Hands on the hips, hands on the chair. If you'd like a little bit more, take your arms all the way up towards the sky. Breathe. Hips square to the front of the room. So shift that left hip back just a bit. Breathe in. Breath out. Good, and through the nose, reach those arms up. Feel the fingertips up towards the sky. If you have them up, if you have your arms down, relax the shoulders, shoulders over the hips, in through the nose. Exhale. Let's find a little movement here into that left knee. We're going to take a breath in. Take the bend out of your left knee. Arms um, come up or hands onto the hips or on the chair. Exhale. We're going to lunge. Good. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale. Lunge. Breathe in. Breath out. In through the nose. Exhale. Nice work, everybody. Strong back leg. Press that right foot all the way down towards the ground, all the way to the edge of the foot, too. Good. Two more times. Last one right here. Good job, everybody. And then exhale. Come all the way back down. Hands can catch the hips right here. Hands back onto the chair. Press into that left foot. And then just step that right foot in just a tad, uh, maybe about two feet away. We're going to come into pyramid pose. Point. Uh, turn the right toes out just slightly, but both heels are down. Both soles of the feet are down. Hips are forward, squared back to the front of the room. And we're going to hinge and fold. Nice work, everyone. Hands can always come right down to blocks, right down to the chair. Turn your chair around to the seated part if you like it a little deeper. Hips drop back. Feel that stretch into that left hamstring as you draw that left hip back just a smidge and press into that left heel. If you need to walk it back just to find that little more depth, um, go for it. Long into the spine, still um, strong in the core. So engage your core, your abdomen in, and then find that length. Breathe. In through the nose. Exhale. Great job, everybody. Let's start to bring your hands back onto the chair and rise all the way back up. Press into that left foot and step it right back to the top center. Shoulders back. Relax. Standing up nice and tall in your mountain pose. Shoulders over the hips, head over the heart, heart over the pelvis. Roll the shoulders back, chest lifts. Breathe in. Breath out. Nice work, everybody. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Warrior one, hands on the hips, hands on the chair to begin with. Right foot presses down as you step the left foot back. Nice um, long step. Make sure width-wise, length-wise, everything feels good. Lunge into that right leg. Point that knee towards the toes. 
get right into that right hip flexor, draw the right hip back, belly button in, knit up the low ribs, everything stacked on top of each other, and then arms might go up. They don't have to relax your shoulders wherever your arms are. Breathe. Strong back leg. In through the nose. Exhale, let's find a little bit of movement again. Let's take that bend out of the right knee. Inhale, exhale, lunge. Good job. Breathe in, breath out. Point that knee towards the toes, in through the nose. Exhale. Your pace, your breath. Two more times, everybody. Good work. And then last one right here. Lunge back in. Breathe in. Exhale all the way out. Nice work, everybody. Placing your hands on the hips, right back onto the hips if you have your arms up, or onto the chair for a little support. Press back into that right foot, and then just step that left foot in just a bit so that the heel can ground. Tur uh, turn the toes out just slightly. Feet are still hip distance apart. Draw that right hip back. Move your feet back if you need to. Allow yourself a little space to hinge and fold. Forearms down towards the chair, the seat of the chair maybe, down to blocks. And for some of you, you might even come all the way down over your leg. Breathe in. Engage your core, still active in your abdomen. Good, press into that right heel. Draw that right hip back just a little bit more and notice what you feel right here in this muscle here, the hamstring muscle. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Full breath out. Nice work, everybody. Let's bring our hands back onto the chair for a little support. Press into that right foot. Step it back to the top of the mat or top of the um behind the chair, I should say. <laughs> if you're on the mat, then it works that way. And let's just bring a little movement into our the tops of your feet into the ankles, making sure that your, the space between your feet feel good. We're going to lift right onto our tippy toes or the balls of the feet, and then the heels will lift. Exhale, come all the way back down. Inhale, lift up, engage your core, long into the spine. Exhale down, keep going, breathe in, breath out. Find that lift, find that stretch, pressing into all 10 toes, the stretch into the tops of the feet, the ankles. Good, now let's um, add on some toe lifts alongside the heel lifts. So we're pressing into our heels, lift the toes up. Good, core is engaged as we balance. Breathe in. Breath out and start to feel the shifting of the weight from the heels to the toes. This is always a great movement to do every single day. Our feet are always in socks, um, shoes, boots as we get into um, winter into the colder months. So all that compression on our feet, just nice way to stretch it out and give um, the smaller parts of the muscles a little movement as well. Good work. A couple more breaths here. And exhale all the way out. Nice work, everybody. Come back down to the um, feet there, soles of the feet down. And we're gonna move into a little bit of hip work here. Hands can always be on the chair, as you know. Hands can go on the hips if you, that feels okay for you. We're gonna take our feet out a little wider, hip distance. 
maybe a little more than that you decide because we're going to make sure our alignment feels okay with this um the goddess pose so we're going to come into our goddess pose we're going to turn our toes out just slightly good so the heels come in and we're just going to take a little little lunge here make sure that the knees are pointing towards the toes good if they aren't move your bring your feet in a little closer or a little farther apart just depends on how much space and how much flexibility you have in your hips there good now come back up take the bends of the knees long into the spine belly button in towards the spine feel that space into the low back hands on the hips hands on the chair for that support and then we're going to find that little bit of a lunge relax the hips down make sure that there's your spine is nice and long as you come down and then rise back up. We're not staying. We're going through a little bit of pulsing from our goddess pose and then coming all the way back up. Nice long spine. Engage your core. Don't let anything dump right here because once this um, there's weight into your low back, everything starts to sink and then our knees will feel a little pain there too. And we want to prevent that from happening. So everything's strong. Low belly, ribs. And we're just going to find that nice movement into the hips, great into the pelvis. So this helps to strengthen the, um, the muscles along the pelvic bowl. So this is great to do as long as you're nice and slow with ease with your breath. <sighs> Inhale to rise. Exhale to lunge. You don't have to go that deep either. You're going to make sure that everything feels good in your knees. You're going to take a scan and check in every time you lunge that everything feels good. And we're not going anywhere that doesn't feel good for your body. Good. Make sure those knees are still pointing towards the toes. Breathe in. Breath out. Good. Let's do two more times here. In through the nose. Feel that lift exhale down good job everybody inhale last one exhale coming down to where it feels good for you and then let's rise all the way back up great job everybody hands back onto the hips or onto the chair or move them onto the chair and then bring turn your toes in so that your toes are facing right back to the front of the room or towards the chair and let's do a little um, stretch, a little side bend here with our legs out wide. We're going to take our arms all the way up. If you're okay with it, you can always keep one hand on the chair. Left arm, bring it over. So we're just going to grab for that left wrist. And we're going to bring that left palm up and over. Nice. Good job, everybody. Good. Come all the way back to center. And then the other side. Good. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Remember, you can always use the chair. And then let's go back over to the left. Bring that right palm over. And let's come all the way back to center. Let's do a little fold. Hinge and fold. Hands at the hips. Hands on the chair. And let's start to hinge at the hips and come all the way down to the chair. Two blocks. All the way down to the ground. Maybe you like to heel toe your feet a little wider. If you have the space for it, allow that space, a little more space into your hips so that you can hinge a little further. Breathe. Few breaths here. Full breath in. Full breath out. All right, now if your hands are all the way down, maybe bring them back onto the chair or onto some blocks to give yourself a little lift, but we're gonna come into a twist. Keep your left hand on the chair or on blocks and bring your right hand behind you onto a low back. Little twist, open up. Maybe a gaze over and you can always keep it very neutral as well in your twist. Good, let's switch sides. Let's bring our right hand on the chair, maybe forearm, left hand onto the low back. 
Open the space into the left part of the chest, down to the rib cage, down to the hip as you draw the sit bones back. Good, now let's move right back to center. Hands back onto the chair, walk it back to the feet back together, and walk it back behind to center, and then relax the arms, standing up nice and tall. Back into your mountain pose. Shoulders over the hips, head over the heart, heart over the pelvis as you stack everything on top of each other. Feel your feet ground down. We're going to take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Nice big breath in. And the full breath out. Wonderful job, everybody. Let's come back onto the seat of our chair. Let's move through two sun salutations to seal off our practice for this morning. And then we'll um, come into our little bit of Shavasana on our chair there. Let's take a breath in. When you're ready, ground the um, sit bones down. We're going to take those arms right up towards the sky, stretch, maybe a gaze up. Exhale, dive forward over your leg. Inhale to lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fold right back over the legs. Find your flow, press into your feet, tuck the chin and rise all the way back up. Stretch the arms up when you're ready. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe in. Exhale, relax one more time. When you're ready, take your time, your pace. Inhale to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Press into your feet, tuck the chin and rising up. Stack one vertebrae over the next. Stretch the arms right back up. Exhale, heart, hands at heart center, full breath in, sitting up nice and tall, belly button in towards the spine. Exhale, relax, feel your feet towards the ground. Feel the chest lift, relax your hands, soften into your gaze or close your eyes completely if you're okay with that. And then start to get right back into your breath. Soft breath in, soft breath out. We're gonna let go of that ujjayi breath now. So don't worry about that strong breath in and out. Now let's back to that soft inhale, soft exhale, and that little bit of release, that calmness in your body, a little quietness in your mind. And just noticing how you feel at this very moment. Start to open your eyes if you have them closed. Come back into your space. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Take your time. And thank you so much for joining me this morning for your practice. And have yourself a wonderful, wonderful week and the rest of your day. Namaste.